suppose I should move a bit. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. And morning, Mr. Morgan. There's really no need to have that gun on display. Extra, extra. All your newsworthy needs in one paper. Only our weapons and our wits. Enough of this. Get back to it. Line up, Rose. Get your paper. Well, I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? Let me see what's available.
Had to have it, eh? All right. That's it for now. Thank you. Morning, partner. Well now, the absent traveler hey, folks. returns. Hello. Hi there, folks. Why, hello there, sir. I am. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Hello, Why, hello sir. There, sir. How do you do? Let's get all bets Hello, down. Hello, mister. Hello. Bets are over. Time to start. Thank you for your help. And right back in again. Now, how can I ease your troubles? Your fried catfish. Hit me. Got too many. Hello. <laughs> you sure wolf that down. Okay, then. No lie. Who the hell did you rob for all this? Hey, 
You ask no questions, I tell no lies. That's all yours once you hand me the money. <laughs> Wagon two. Walk Fine. along Here if it you is. won't live through well, we tomorrow. agreed on. Good man. Well, you keep on doing You're what you do. Guns in the hands of those fools. Don't make this difficult. What the hell do you want? Just shut up, damn it. I got traveling to do. I want no part of that. Go, boy. Hi there. How do you do? I've seen crazier things. This is it. 
This is what happens when you cross the Braithwaite's. Son of a bitch! Blow over you! You came! You came! You finally came! I came. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. 
Okay, let's try and get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. I know the route, and this is not the right one, sir. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. This doesn't seem like the right way. You don't want to mess around over there. This is painful for me. Can we go? Uh, who are you? <laughs> Who's that? That's my poor cousin. There's no help in her. Believe me, I've tried. Something the matter? Why are you stopped? Want a kiss? Leave her! I knew how you Braithwaite's treated enemies. Now I know how you treat Ken, too. It's a great shame on a family that's shamed already. I told myself she was better off here with family than in a sanatorium, but maybe she isn't. I'll do what I can from Boston for her. Sure you will. God damn. Okay, well, you still got a train to catch. Get me away from all this. train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. Well, there it is. You came! <laughs> you came! At last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men! <laughs> Oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. No. Hey, no, you Excuse me, Alden. Get off me! 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 Get
Here, get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You don't want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Bo. Go to your wolf. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. Don't go to get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott. Oh, now there's only one in. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, at least hit me proper. Come on, Arthur. If that is his real name, I... That is quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off, whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. We'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels. us. Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister.
stopped. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Well... Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh, You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! If you would give me a minute, please. What you need? Clear this ride up for you. If you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve, sir, I really... Thank you. Why don't you just do your job? Come on now, boy. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. <laughs> hey, what are you up to at this hour? Hey, boy. Yeah. 
You all right there, boy? Okay, fella.
Easy, boy. Good boy. <laughs> Here you go, pal. 